Good day, everybody. This is Kevin Hogan, author of The Psychology of Persuasion, The Science of Influence, 22 other books that have been translated into 43 languages all across the world. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Every day I think about it. It's, it's all about you, man. I, I thank you so much, and that's why we're here doing these videos every day. What's authenticity, and why do we care, and doesn't it matter? And, you know, nowadays it's like people are like, you know, they're always trying to find out the wrong way to do something and how can we get away with this and how can we hurt the person this way? You know what? People want you to be authentic. They want you to be real. If you're walking around the house tonight in a pink shirt, a pink shirt, do you think I bought this for myself? No, my girlfriend bought this for me, right? So it's like I would never have worn a pink shirt and now you see me wearing them all the time. It's, it's actually a good thing to have a dress designer that's your, your girlfriend. So. <laughs> So your, your authenticity level, that takes a while for me to get used to this, your authenticity level, see, is driven by two things, both plot and character, okay? So the plot happened to my life. Got a girlfriend who was a dress designer and a model, and she likes to see Kevin wearing a pink shirt, okay? But for me to wear a pink shirt is really out of my comfort zone. Not because of anything feminine or anything like that. I just always thought I looked terrible in pink shirts. Well, apparently, at least in the eyes of one person, not so. Hmm. So that's interesting. So I had a plot. The plot of the movie happened to me. Girlfriend comes into life. Girlfriend says, hey, Kev, you got to wear this. And then the character-driven part takes over. Okay? The character-driven part is then this part that says, hmm, you know what? It's kind of casual. It's kind of cool. I could see myself looking a lot worse. I kind of like this. It's good, if it's real. And then when Kevin goes in front of a live audience, Kevin can, Hogan can say, hey, and you know what? You might want to try a pink shirt. You might be surprised by the respect that you get from people, particularly women and men who are very insecure. I found this, this is so amazing. You wear a pink shirt and all of a sudden your, your uh, impress, uh, the, the level of impression that people have of you increases. It's bizarre, but it's a great thing. It's really cool. So you have this plot that happens to you and then you, your character takes over. And so what you're trying to do here is you're trying to work on your persona. You know, like who are you? What are you willing to try? What are you not willing to try? What do you want people to see when they see you? I think of all kinds of things. When I, want, when I think of what I want you to see when you see me, is I want you to think of somebody who can go into that person's brain, turn the knobs, push the dials, all that stuff, and they're gonna do what I want them to do because it's really important that they do what I want to do. Now notice, I didn't say do something bad or do something stupid or try to get somebody to do anything that's, ag <laughs> that's against their moral principles or any of that stuff. I just like to move things along. It, I, got, I got a lot to do. I want to get inside, push buttons, turn knobs, and then get out and go home. That's what I really want to do, all right? And so I want you to have that impression, and that's one little dot. I want you to have the impression that I'm a family person. I am. I love my kids. You know that, okay? And I have uh, a history, a family history that you probably know about. You probably know stories about my childhood and maybe my mom, right? And I've told you those stories over time, and those are things I put out here. So that's the whole point of persona. So you put these little pieces up here for the person to see all these things are real, okay? And all these things from happen from events that happen to you in life and then you taking charge as a person and deciding what your public is going to see. You have a public too on your Facebook, for example. Now, Facebook, of course, is where everything goes right for everybody all the time, okay? And I do not recommend posting, oh, I had surgery today or yes, everything was terrible today or, you know, my wife left me today or my husband shot the neighbor today. I don't recommend stuff like this. If you don't have something good to say, I wouldn't say it on Facebook. You, you, but there is an exception here. If part of your marketing is to polarize, and polarity uh, response is very, very important in some marketing efforts. Uh, so for example, if you're trying to reach a conservative audience and you wanna polarize the, the left wing, feel free because you're your red state people are going to come and cluster around you in a really huge way. I live in, you can talk about what's going to polarize people. And if you take one specific stand, say, you know what? I don't like this about those people. They are just spendthrifts. And all they do is this, they just spend, 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 spend. That's all they do. They take money, they make the government print more money and they go and spend it. And I hate that. Wow. There's a big, big number of people people that like Kevin Hogan that are gonna go, yeah, that drives me crazy. I earn my money, I work hard for it, and I don't want them getting it all for free and then going and spending and wasting it on drugs and alcohol and cigarettes and all that. Pisses me off, right? 
So as you think about your persona and the things that people see, you also want to think of that one thing that makes you just a little bit different than everybody else. You don't want to tick off the whole world. That's not your goal. You want to find your audience and figure out who they are. What do they really believe like you? Okay. How are they similar to you? What is their similarity to you? And then reach the person there. Okay, and that becomes part of your persona, your, your authentic person. And then when the person meets you in person, you know, when they meet you in person, they're going to see all these things and they're going to see them all as being real. This is who you are. This is the fun you've had. This is the real um, intensity that you have. This is the real character you have, the family that you have, whatever those values are. And they're not all Boy Scout and they're not all bad. It's you're a real person. And once somebody gets that character, they believe that you're authentic. And all you have to do is match that belief that you're authentic by being who you are. Cool. Okay, guys, that's it. I will see you here next time.